Hi everybody, my name is Diogo. Uh, I'm here to explain you what happened with uh, Wooster Front. So Wooster Front changed the name to Alokai. Uh, it's mostly the same. Uh, let's say the name change was consequence of uh, the framework itself now supports both Woo and React. Uh, it works as like a, mo a node module. That node module can be turned into a Nuxt.js module or a Next.js module for React. Um, and so that uh, it wouldn't make sense to keep the name Wooster front, right? Uh, the main objective uh, is to provide uh, open source, headless storefront that everybody can use. And so uh, the name change came because of this reason. Uh, now, of course, this also brought some technical changes. Uh, now we have something called the SDK. So it's a toolkit that is available, as I said, as a node module. And that toolkit can be used in both React and Vue.js world, right? Uh, so we, of course, uh, during this period, we uh, uh, ERP gap we are uh, the main committers i think uh, and so we had other projects to support like we had uh, lots of feedback from clients wanting us to uh, provide our services and that has kept us busy anyway uh, since november that we migrated to the sdk so we did that very fast of course in the open source project the branch uh, that is still the default branch is from VSF2 and not from SDK. I know it's a bit confusing the SDK, and but let's say SDK came first and then the Alokai, Alokai name was uh, second, right? Because the SDK uh, mandated that the name had to be changed. So we did that uh, around November. We started some projects with the SDK. And so at this moment, we have two projects um, and we are replacing Shopify uh, for some uh, clients because Shopify, uh, when you grow your operation, the price becomes uh, a, bit, uh, a bit too much for, for some of the traders because their margins probably cannot cope with that. And, <clears throat> and so just to tell you that Everything is still works. Uh, we are starting now to work on the documentation. It's a bit updated, but um, it's working. It's working very fine. Uh, we have clients very happy with the framework and with the architecture decision because it, it is much easier to scale a simple Node.js app being Nuxt or Next.js with React. It's, it's at the end, it's always a Node.js app uh, that serves the web pages, right? So it's much easier than using an ERP to serve e-commerce, right? Voodoo is great in what it does. It's a great ERP, uh, but its main function is not being a, an e-commerce, even though it has an e-commerce feature and you can scale it also to uh, quite big numbers like Voodoo website, for example. Anyway, uh, main purpose is to be an ERP, right? So Alokai, now it's the name. And so Alokai uh, does what Front did before, um, which is like getting the products, the categories, getting all the content, all your product portfolio from Udo, then store it in a Redis cache, and then serve it from the storefront directly to your clients, right? Uh, this has evolved and of course we keep the boilerplate in a, in a situation that can be used uh, as a starting point for several projects, uh, even though we have did lots of uh, customiz customizations to make the system faster in some situations. Let's say the core, it's still a quite simple boilerplate. We are still pushing code into the SDK boilerplate. 
and that's what I'm going to show you. So how can you test and how can you check how it works? So let's get into that. Um, so first of all, uh, let's pull in uh, the Docker, um, the Docker uh, REPL, which is here. So you see, it's still on the same place. It's on our GitHub, Vustofront Docker. So if we pull here, let's duplicate this tab here. So go, if you go into our uh, GitHub and here you will find Vustofront Docker repo. So now starts with version 17. Uh, so if you just uh, clone the repo and then you can of course take a look into the files that we have here so we try to keep things as easy as possible we have we do have a doc uh, we do have a docker image on the boilerplate project but uh, since uh, it it's interesting to see Udo together with uh, booster front uh, alokai working that's why we we kept this project uh, in a separate repo so if you just cat here, uh, docker compose, not cst cat. So you'll see it's quite simple. So we have a Redis container. We have a Postgres database, 14. Then we have Udo and we have Alokai. Still with VSF, but it's Alokai. So, um, yeah, then there are some special things in the uh, Udo library. If you go here and do ls minus L lh, uh, you'll see we have a 17, CD17. This is the version of Udo. And here we have this start script. Uh, so, yeah, so this start script uh, allows to set some parameters, <clears throat> but let's go here directly, it's easier. Uh, yeah, the startup bash script, what it does, it detects if this folder already exists or not, <clears throat> then it's going to clone our Udo uh, Vustor front modules that you can also find at this address, right? These are the Udo modules that depend on some OCA modules for GraphQL. And well, that's that's really it. That's the only thing it does. Uh, so of course, to save us some time, I just built the containers, but now we just do Docker compose and start. And so containers are going to start. And now you can check here on localhost if you're running this for the same for the first time probably you'll need to wait a bit uh, because Udo when you start it Udo will populate uh, the database that requires like uh, probably two minutes something like that and so if you go here into localhost 8069 you get to see Udo 17 so you can just sign it as a normal admin admin this is a community version but it works with uh, enterprise and community um, and after you log in you can go into the GraphQL uh, yeah because I'm sharing my screen it, it, it turns a bit slow okay now if you go into GraphQL VSF you get your GraphQL interface where you can do your queries you get your documentation where you can see queries and mutations and and that's mostly it um, yeah so what this is showing here it's the new boilerplate so it's just a new boilerplate that we have built um, from uh, using the SDK so if you want to understand how it works you just go into our uh, repo and uh, the boilerplate is here storefront ui 
and so this will uh, like give you an insight on how it works uh, if you check the environment variables they are a bit different so you have to point this uh, to get the address of the server that is going to give you the GraphQL and this uh, could be a different URL where you're publishing uh, the images of the products probably using a CDN uh, especially because most uh, well some clients they don't publish the Udo server so uh, Nuxt uh, has to have access uh, to connect to do GraphQL interface so you can just open an endpoint to connect there but of course you will need uh, you will need to have a CDN for the images now in this boilerplate we already implemented lots of features uh, one thing we did is implemented uh, Algolia search it's still in a beta stage we we have to do more things regarding that but uh, I mean the basics already works fine um, we've been using other search uh, uh, other search providers uh, than Algolia this is just to get a um, like a boilerplate that's a bit that is a bit more complete and um, yeah so uh, if you want to directly use it you can go into our demo server this is a dev server so uh, it's probably uh, going to be halt uh, in some point in time because it's deploying or uh, there's some issue so it's a dev server and so these are the same products you see that we have as a demo from the other a booster front demo it still exists so if you go into vsf.labs.com probably it's here yeah it still works it's connected to probably a v16 uh, i mean we can make it work with both versions 16 15 uh, and even 14 um, but we stopped like developing additionally this boilerplate uh, we are focusing our efforts in the sdk uh, the boilerplate that uses the SDK which is this one and and yeah well that's it mostly everything in terms of the project being open source it's still the same it's still a great choice um, we have uh, developed lots of interesting features that keep uh, the storefront from calling Udo till the last minute so we can scale more without touching even touching Udo right and yeah like well uh, there's a of course real case scenarios are always uh, more complex than a simple boilerplate so there's lots of things we can do with it um, and well that's all I wanted to talk with you and if you have any question feel free to go into uh, uh, the discord channel in booster front and reach out to me or just go into our website at erp gap so erpgap.com and you can just uh, there's a button here for 30 minute call you just click here and most of the times are also be available here on the online chat so feel free to reach out and thanks for listening and see you next time. Bye-bye.